Hello, welcome into the Aura Glass, baby. <laughs> Let's see what's going to be revealed or unfolding around the full moon in Leo. Last days of Aquarius season. So some of you may have been unattached or, you know, a little bit indifferent while you pursue your dreams. Some of you had enough with people that are just not pouring into you as you do so you're like doing it on your own kind of stressful looking for uh innovative ways to execute your dreams or to hit that mark it's like no bullshit right we have the child of cups and if that's the feeler is that yeah the child of cups the feeler so we may have a very sensitive individuals or sensitive souls in the house and you could be very like childlike as well it's not necessarily a bad thing, my love. Or you have a water, a, a water sign child. <laughs> Could be a Cancerian child. Doesn't have to be. I'm also getting this flower power energy with a lot of children. Hey, you know, um, I'm also hearing wearing your heart on your sleeve, your sleeve, and you never have to guess what, how this person feels. So that could be your energy. This could be who you were as a child, how people explain or talk about you. This is a very raw, spontaneous energy coming from this card. I see happiness. I see sorrow. I feel pain. I feel passion. But it's excitement. So some of you may be very excited or enthusiastic about a situation, but there's also fear. Some of you may have phobias hey, as well that you're um, kind of learning to overcome. Some of you may be surfers, uh, divers, or this is things you're getting back to some sort of childhood uh, passion. Hey, and that's bringing a lot of emotional passion or raw passion to your life. For some of you, if you have been um, restricting your feelings, you're about to discover another part of yourself something that's very intense or raw so if you have been holding back your feelings or keeping your feelings under wrap you're going to go through a situation that's going to intensify those emotions all right because you need to feel emotions are messengers here to help you get on your way it's to help you feel alive so if you were taught to kind of restrict or reframe or restrain your emotions you're going through lessons right now to break through that glass ceiling all right so uh be prepared to feel intensity or there's someone around you that has a lot of intense feelings for you even though there's a lot of fear there's a lot of passion you make me feel like a child again yeah wow all right so let's keep going I use this deck as um, an oracle deck at times because it's, it's a beautiful deck and it's going to take some time to really uncover all of the intuitive messages. Like every deck brings a different feeling, brings different incitements, brings a different reality for me. So I just can't like buy a deck and like get it done in a week. Nah. <laughs> and I'm usually attracted to decks that is pretty advanced as well. So let's see what's going on. We have half to full moon energy. I love this deck. It's all about the moon. I'm a moon child. I love, love, love the moon. I'm always connected to the moon. It says embrace a higher level of motivation. An energy will bring feelings of empowerment and satisfaction. So what brings feelings of empowerment and satisfaction? I'm also hearing the question, do you really like him or her? So that may be a question that you need to ask yourself, especially those that are being questioning if this person likes you. Maybe you need to start questioning yourself. Does, what do you like about this person? What do you like about this person in question? Maybe you're just a person that's filled with a lot of emotions and you're looking for an outlet to kind of uh, pour it onto. <laughs> Mm, half to full moon and we do have that full moon in leo so unpin your your uh your passions let that magical energy of your emotions flow love is all around you if you fear rejection 
and that's stopping you from reaching out to love you need to get over that you need to overcome that know that love is all around you allow yourself to see it allow yourself to receive it i don't know why i'm getting the picture of the empress let me see if there's any adults here there are no adults here balloons Ooh, somebody may like carnivals or circuses or festivals a lot of games so it's time to explore let me get some of this crap out of the way yeah yeah whatever you're going through right now is for you to embrace higher levels of emotions that's gonna give you a lot of empowerment so let's see up uh, oh i'm also getting the color blue yeah and blue see we have a lot of blue in the background as well so blue is symbolized emotional depth it's like the ocean right so there's a, a a depth of emotion here but it's bringing stability you need to stabilize yourself to kind of deep dive yeah somebody's always preparing for the worst where's my my tarot something about dads and sons hmm we have the hangman's energy sagittarius so there could be a lot of enlightenment you may be in stagnation right now or feeling helpless with all of these children energy you could be feeling helpless right now feeling like you're just like rocking or swaying with these emotional situations you're overwhelmed by emotions but it's bringing you a lot of enlightenment. We have the Four of Pentacles. Didn't even see that. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. Doesn't have to be. Somebody suffering in silence. These emotions. Five of Wands. Could be a fire sign here. Two of Swords. All right. So we are a little bit in denial. Somebody could be denying how they're feeling right now want to keep it under wraps with the four of pentacles could be this knight of pentacles with this queen of wands and we have this knight of swords all right so some of you may have two options or yeah some of you may have a earth fire or an air sign that's constantly rotating or on your radar or you could pick up on their energy and we have the king of pentacles i also have the king of pentacles on my backboard hello so i'm going to release the information uh the insights that i got from just studying this card last night every week i pick at least three cards for the new energy of the week and what i picked up with the king of pentacles is traditional i'm very traditional energy coming through this could also be someone is learning the value of what money could buy, freedom, comfort, some sort of stability uh, for their well-being. So with the four of pentacles, someone may be holding in a lot of resources. This could be emotional resources. This could be material resources or even financial resources. This is someone that moves very cautiously. They may have traditions that it's part of their identity this is things that they like to follow because it brings some sort of purpose or organization with the capricorn energy i'm also getting dull and distant this this person may feel that way towards you or this is just who they are as an individual i'm getting that this is a person that has sons or they were uh they could have tried to understand their dad more or they tried to be like this son their dad would be proud of that could be a situation here. If you're in the queen of wands energy the with the five of wands, there tends to be a little bit of drama or tension between you and this person. I feel like this person has the tendency or they have the desire to kind of storm in pretty swiftly, but they're kind of undecided about that. They're sitting on the fence about taking action towards you like that. So this person may have very deep feelings for you and it's very inconsistent with this person because these feelings are restrained you get what i'm saying they could have learned this from their dad you know always to be very like stoic or man up this could feel like a very transactional relationship with the four of pentacles five of wands kind of deal 
your person may be into fame or whatever they're into their business, the group that they're working with, it has a lot of publicity or, you know, whenever they win, you know, you hear about it. This could be somebody's, um, this could be what they're into. I'm also feeling like with the King of Pentacles being the overall energy, it's about doing things as quickly as possible. The guidance I get with the King of Pentacles is it's time to build your own empire. It's time to build on your empire using your own hands or with your own hands. Hey, we see a castle. We see the magic cube going on in there. What number is am I looking at? Nine. So nines uh, could be something of uh, uh, obtainment. This person in the King of Pentacles wants to obtain their Queen of Wands. If you know, if this person, if this fits a description of a person, this person indeed wants to obtain a relationship or obtain a connection with you. I feel like they admire your insights or they admire your passions. Some of you may be extremely woke with the queen of wands energy and because you're so awoke uh it's kind of difficult to impress you at times i'm getting a song by erica badu i don't know why she reminds me of erica badu but i'm getting erica badu i'm in love with you with stephen marley right I'm in love with you. I'm in love with you. <laughs> Something like that. I feel like this person is very magnetized by uh, either your complexion or your sexuality. It's very magnetizing to this person. I feel like they want to show you that they could be a provider or they're trying to be a provider in your in their life so you could see that. Maybe that's something that you're drawn to, somebody that's financially stable or somebody that shows you that they got it. This could be Libra energy, Capricorn, or your... Uh, or air sign, fire sign that's really serious about your fucking business. You're really serious about, you could be a small business owner as well, but you're really serious about this purpose in business. Some of you, this person, they may, in the past, they may have suffered from a, a risky investment. They lost a risky investment or they're prone to risky investments and they sometimes fail. This could make this person feel dull and stingy with their money. Maybe they don't like to spend money or when they do, they complain about it. Very ambitious. I feel like whoever this resonates with, very ambitious, very principled. But when they come to you, it feels like kryptonite. It feels like they get conflicted. They get confused. They, it, they, they feel like you're like someone that they have to think bigger for. And that kind of complicates this person's predictability. So they could be very routine. They have like this routine or they have a way uh, or their life is just tightly scheduled. And when it comes to you, it, it completely changes things. Hey, So I feel like they want to be in this night of swords energy where they want to shake things up. They want to be spontaneous. But there's a fear of failing. There's a fear of ruin, ruining something. Hey, It's almost like you could see them coming. Some of you may be very protected and because you're so connected, you're well connected and well protected. You know what that means? You could sometimes see this person coming before they even arrive and that kind of spooks the fuck out of them. I feel like this person has a big dreams or they had many goals, many dreams that they had in the past. They may have tried everything on the wagon is what I heard with the, the Knight of Pentacles, meaning, you know, whatever great uh, get rich. I don't want to say scheme, but whatever trend comes into play when it comes to making that shmoneys, this person tries it, you know. But they have found a passion, maybe one or two passions or one or two businesses that they see a potential of stable money. This person may come from stable money. 
Wow. So you could be easy going with this person or they feel like you're just outgoing. You have like this strong, soft or silent sex appeal. Magmatize this person. I feel like they feel very vulnerable when they look at you, when they think about you. They have like this need to do something in their life. So you could be very inspiring to this person. So why are they sitting on the fence? They're sitting on the fence about doing something here with you. On one hand, they have like this prestige or they have like this superiority going on in their, in their life or their crew. And then they have wanting to pursue you and it's conflicting the life that they already have going on. They are building something here, whether you know that or not, or this is something that they try to invest in. For their empire. Okay. So it's a lot of leadership energy. I don't know. It feels like they have a lot of people around them. Or a lot of people they work with to build money. And they're. Okay. Let me, re, let me back up. It's something about their dad. It's like they have like a love-hate relationship with they, their dad. They love the way how their dad would be a leader but there's some flaws here that they picked up from their dad that they're not too happy about that and they're trying to master it's something about being a hero to this queen of wands they're like sitting on the fence should i come in to this queen of wands in the knight of pentacles or should i come in as the knight of swords very active person. This person moves around or travels a lot or they're always doing something daily, but you're always on their mind and they want to know what is on your mind, what you have going on. You could be very fast or you pick up on things very fast. I feel like you're a trendsetter in your own way or you, it, it's something about you that is very unique and they love that. They love it. They love it. You do things fastly or you may be a little bit advanced with this person. Five of ones. Something about you is very confusing. But this person may be trying to convince themselves that the, the situation is complicated or confusing. But they're in denial. Hey, This is what's holding them back. This denial. Now... I did say that they have some sort of empire or something that's already established and they're very loyal to that. But I feel like they want to be loyal and devoted in pursuing you. This is why they're on the fence. You may be somebody that pushes this person to face their affairs. It could be them leading their own life, having to move away from a group or from a family situation. You kind of trigger them uh, to, to be more independent and more in this leadership energy. Uh, I feel like in the past, Past, you guys may have argued there it nothing came out of these arguments you guys may be very powerful individuals but someone here is overwhelmed with worry of getting hurt so they move cautiously with the knight of pentacles they may act very indifferent like they're not interested but they're hella interested you make them very vulnerable very open I feel like in the past, this person did not see or consider other people's feelings until they met you. And that was a little bit of struggle. It's like with the five of ones, everybody wants to lead here. Where's the cooperation? Who do we follow? Everybody thinks they know what to do. So your person could be part of a group where the blind is leading the blind here. And with you, you don't have to be present to know things. You know things, and this spooks this person out. They kind of get distant. So they may feel like you know more than you tell. 
Okay, I see what it is. So if your person is involved with a group or they're really close to a family, they're, they want backative. So even though they want to be a leader or they want some sort of prestige status, they stick with a group because it's like we are, we are stronger in numbers, right? But you trigger them to kind of lead their own path. And with the Knight of Swords, you're triggering them or you're compelling them. Yeah, you're compelling them to want to be assertive and direct with you. This may be something that they never was pushed to do. I feel like this is like they're out with their gang and, you know, they like to meet other people that has a gang. Something to that effect. They like to be in groups or passes or crews. So this is a lot of hero energy, the king of pentacles, knight of pentacles, knight of swords. This is like, I want to be a hero. I want to be a champion. Aggressive. They want to move aggressive, but they're not too sure if they should do that with the two of swords. Maybe that did not. That was very tasteless to move aggressive towards you. You could be very masculine as well, or you embrace your masculine frame. And that is like really sexy to this person but it also pushes them to feel like a coward oh my goodness did i just say that did i do that so their thoughts are really scattered right now and i feel like the only thing that's paying off for this person is to focus on business maybe this is something that they could i'm hearing triangulate or this is something that they have more control or they mastered whatever business they in when it comes to you it's more scattered it's more complicated but it, they can't help but to be drawn to it. This person wants to be rich, all right? They want family or they want their crew to, like, look up to them. They want wealth. They know wealth is not going to buy happiness, but they sure know money buys comfort. It buys freedom. So this person could be understanding the value of having Miss Queen of Wands uh, in their life, they want to communicate with the page, with the Knight of Swords. Hey, they want to take action and talk to you, but they're on the fence about doing that. They want clarity to something that they're denying within themselves, and they feel like talking to you would give them that clarity. I'm hearing, God damn, you're gorgeous, you're sexy. They love your ambition, they love your qualities. I feel like you have, I, they saw something, maybe you have children or maybe they saw you demonstrate how powerful the force that you have that you could like get things to cooperate or happen. What the fuck? I feel like there's, a, there's some unfaithful tendencies here that the both of you, maybe you met each other when both of you were in a relationship or dating that's that's a side note i feel like they want you to be dominant with the queen of wands they miss how dominant you were but they also get distance when you show that quality of yourself some of you this person may feel like you love money or they were taught that women or all feminine energies want money, love money. There could be an insecurity about you that's feeding this person's um, immaturity hey, as well. They, th they think that you're forgetful a lot. Or, yeah, they think you forgot something, hey. You're super confident. You're confident, you're sexy, and you embrace your masculine frame. And they like that. It's like they want you to tell them what to do. I'm getting that song by Chris, um, Justin Bieber. When you come around, when you come around me, do me like you miss me even though you've been with me, right? When he was like, pull me down aggressively. And then the part when he was like, uh-oh, now you're on top of me. I call this a win-win, right? So it's like they want you to kind of make the first move. It's weird because in their reality, they're the leader. 
wow so i feel like this person wants to show you that they're a good provider there's a lot of emotions that it's complicating for this person but i feel like they're just in denial they're not wanting to see the truth of these deep feelings and because they're not wanting to look at it could be avoiding pain or just in avoiding embarrassment for some reason so they move very cautiously towards you but they're pulled there's a lot of magnetism going on here They feel like they're angels holding them up or their angels are guiding them. They could be getting in a lot. They could be in a very competitive industry. It's like my group or my, my companies against this company. What? <laughs> they want to know what you're up to, baby girl, baby boy. All right, let's see what's going on. And energy is king, you know what I'm saying? So even if I say the queen of wands and you're a guy and you resonate with that description, it is what it is. Energy is king. That could be just your feminine spirit really taking the lead right now. And if this person is a female, she could be in her masculine spirit as well. So it could be same sex. You just take it how it resonates. This person may also feel like you have other uh, options. And they're trying to be the best option by being in their own lane, by being distant or cold towards you. They want to magnetize you to them. Beware. If you're considering letting someone who took you for granted back into your life, they need to come more courageous, authentic, consistent, honest, and open for this commitment. So if this is someone that you dealt with, and you kind of had to like outgrow or you outgrew this person because the it was not getting anywhere both of you wanted to lead i feel like this person wants to come back in very abruptly or they move pretty fast but then when it comes to doing the action or coming down to the nitty-gritty they move very cautiously keep in mind that this person needs to be more courageous than the last cycle they need to come in their more authentic frame so that means they kind of have to get up off of this four of pentacles energy with keeping things under wrap or it also feels like it's a risk this could be a risk taker but they also feel like to pursue you they may have to give up something else and that could be um just them denying having to do something is just something that they're telling themselves that may not be entirely true it just needs a little bit more cooperation everybody needs to kind of listen to how we could add to make this work this could be somebody at your job this could be like somebody's manager or team leader is like really crushing hey but they're noticing other employees trying to get with you and they feel like if they interfere or intercept they may lose their position zero 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 you have unlimited possibilities claim what belongs to you oh my god somebody wants you they want you it's like you're part of an accomplishment this came up for the second time today it says it's okay to say goodbye to someone with hopes to one day say hello to another some of you may have uh moved on from this person i feel like some of you may have outgrown this stagnant cold or very indifferent energy i feel like you bring a lot of high power energy you empower this person you motivate them but to pursue you is like back up like i'm backing up i'm backing up right we have seven 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 dare to raise the bar and dream bigger so you may be someone that motivates this person to come out of their routine out of their predicted lifestyle and they may feel like they have a scarcity issue like oh my god if i if i do that i might lose this it's risky the universe has bigger plans for you. So I read something the other day that said, you know, if God uh, wants, when God wants two hearts to meet, he would move both of them, not just one. All right. So that's for someone to have. We have only in submission would the subconscious trust. Now the subconsciousness was in that half to full moon energy. I didn't want to bring it up because I felt like it was too deep, but 
this person would only submit if they truly uh, trusts this bond between the both of you. I want your trust to instinctively understand that I am your other half, the one you told your secrets to, the one you made secrets with. So for some of you, this could be a very private uh, relation. Maybe a lot of people don't know how deep this goes or how loyal you guys or how way back you guys been going on or just, just how passionate it is between the both of you and this person does not want to compete they are busy trying to be in their own league so you could be attracted to them they want your trust if you guys have been unfaithful to each other or you guys have chosen other people in the path past they are seeing the value of the both of you working together all right they want you to trust this bond they want you to trust them Wow, this is crazy, right? <laughs> Big up on yourself in the comment box if it resonates for you. You know what I'm saying? I love to hear a little bit of it in the comment section. If that's okay with you, silent followers. Big up on yourself. You know who you are. Yes. So this person wants to know, wants you to know that they have been indeed intruding your dreams, having five, 5D sex with you, having a strong telepathic communication. They're showing you clues and hints that they cannot describe or talk about in the 3D. This person has difficulties expressing the depths of their emotions, but it feels very stable. So they could feel like it's very real to them because it's stable. It's consistent. You may be the person, the only person that has been consistent in their life. You and this team that they may be working with or a family. This could be like cousin. Like, oh, I have that one cousin. That's my ride or die. It could even be like that as well. I got options, but I want you. I almost said I got plans for you. So somebody has plans for you. Uh, let's go back to the card. I got options, but I want you. You're the one. Got some love for you. I got a whole lot of names and numbers. I'll throw them all out or I'll throw them all away because I think I might love you. So this is a person that's denying the love that they feel. They're denying the depths. Maybe this is someone that never thought that they could fall in love or want to kind of. Um, maybe they never thought that nothing would come in their life that would cause them to be in two minds and boom here you go here you go you may be very independent you may be too confident for this person and that kind of triggers their insecurity especially if they've been dealing with women or feminine energies that just want them for their money or who they are or what they have to provide you may be the opposite of that and that may be like stirring a lot of um sexual tension within this person we have zero 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 you have unlimited possibilities claim what belongs to you so this person feels like you belong to them they could be very possessive with the king of pentacles energy as well you could be again um some sort of achievement this person may be someone that's an overachiever or this is what they feel like so even though it's not demonstrated in their reality, this is just how they feel about themselves. They could be doing a lot better than those around them or they could be hanging around. I'm hearing they like to be the big fish in the little pond. <laughs> All right, let's see what's going on. So you may be somebody that's very expansive and this person is like, no, 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 wait up, wait up. We have sexual attraction. Yeah, definitely feel that because you're very confident in yourself you could be someone that does not worry about what this person is doing all the time and that's triggering a lot of sexual attraction this is also forming a very strong connection with you and this person time is money better to do things as quickly as possible that's this person's mo so they could be working in a in a industry you know like for me a uh, licensed cosmetologist, time is money. I have to be able to do a men's cut in 15 minutes, depending on the service or what's requested, because time is money. I have other clients that needs to be serviced, and if I could prioritize my schedule or how many, how many uh, hours or minutes I spend on a service, I could get through the day, uh, you know, uh, giving satisfaction to my clients and feeling satisfied with my productivity as well So that could be something that this person is going through as well We have one person is more ready than the other to, to settle down or is dealing with their unfinished business And hasn't got the capacity to maintain the needs of this relationship at this time timing is everything So your person may have had a schedule already 
planned out. They have a routine and, you know, they could have more dreams that they want to pursue and they may feel like, you know, I can't do so many things at one time. I can't be three, two places at the same time. So this could be something that they think about. They're very practical about what they could handle. This is something that you need to accept of this person. So if they don't feel like they could do something, it's, I don't think you could convince them that they could. You just have to lead by example, right? And I feel like this person follows you. You know, they're always trying to sniff you out. Nine, 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 step into your power and be a positive example. Release the fears and doubts. There's a new beginning happening. I felt that with the nine and then we have the nines here. Bravo to me. What? So nines is all about obtainment. Somebody has the clarity. Both of you may be having the clarity. You may be sharing this in the, in the, through, in the 5D, you know, through telepathy, telepathy telepathic communication you guys may be sharing uh the clarity of what's to come the end game you have like this deep knowing or this person has this deep knowing that you are part of their higher level their higher reality hey so i'm gonna leave it there i hope you guys did enjoy this message if you didn't it may not have been the message for you today and that's okay you know what i'm saying it's not every day i'm going to tap into each and every individual here and i'm going to satisfy you with every precise detail that's more like a private personal reading this is general information or insights or even confirmation all right so if you came here and you didn't find what you wanted it is what it is. You could check back at another time. Remember, time and energy is fluid. This could all be future references. This could be what's already unfolding around this uh, full moon in Leo. So I do feel like this person is very close to what, they're, uh, th what they want to achieve. But they're also heavily, um, I'm not going to say distracted, but they're he you're heavily on their mind. And it's stirring up a lot of emotions for somebody that's, that deems themselves as a very practical individual or grounded so around their family and friends they could be very wise and grounded someone that saves the day but with you it's like i need to show you that it, they have like this compelling urge to want to be that for you it's something about the value they understand your value in their life but it's like split loyalties hey all right. And I feel like this person, there are two directions here with the knights as well. But it's like it always comes back to you. The road that they take or if they try to stray away and think more on business deal, it's like always built around you. All right. And I'm hearing the phrase, they don't want their love blowing in the wind. They don't want to throw this away. All right. So this person doesn't want to throw this away. They don't want it blowing in the wind. I feel like they want to do something impulsive and they're trying to refrain from doing that. It's like they know it's going to lead to a dead end or they know it's going to lead to a mistake when it comes to you. They have to be, I don't want to say respectable, but maybe it's respectable or they have to be sure of themselves when they come to you. All right. So, yeah, big up on yourself. Like, subscribe, share if you feel compelled or you feel the need to hit that tip jar in the description box below. Feel free. You don't have to send me the power of a thousand moons. I love, love, love the moon. But you could send me the power of a thousand suns as well so I could step into my uh, my willpower so I could grow so I could eliminate. No. So I could. Yeah. Eliminate. Every time I hit a new road in my life, I feel eliminated. So, yeah, I'm going to leave it there. My candle is like, yes, energy. <laughs> so I'm going to see you guys in another channel message. Chat to you guys later. Ciao.